What's up, guys? Ice Toad here. So in this video, I'm going to showcase this summon hybrid droid. And he uses Reaper's Toll, and I maxed out the summons. So, really, from what i found so far, I mean, this is interesting, dog. Like, I'm kind of tempted to try this out for the start of the ladder reset over the Necromancer that I was intending to use. I mean, this really mixes things up. This is like the embodiment of a droid, of a nature boy. You're running with your wolves, and you're fighting with your wolves, and your bear, and your birds. The murder of ravens. It's gonna be... It's, uh... Yeah, this is interesting. So let me show you what I did. Uh, the mercenary probably isn't ideal. Ideally, with this setup, I think what you'd want is an Act 2 Merc with pride. But I have Lawbringer on him, which is redundant, because <clears throat> I'm actually uh, wielding Reaper's Toll with Decrepify. Fortitude, anti visage Merc is even all that important right now. Last Wish. Yeah, it's OP, but for a mercenary, it's not that big of a deal. And here's what I'm wearing on the droid. Reaper's Toll, Zod. Uh, I haven't checked the breakpoints, so you might actually be better off with a shale or something in a non-eth. I don't know. I'm going to experiment some. 20 S on the gloves. Uh, these belts aren't really... Uh, the belt, the rings, that might not really be what you want. Uh, this is just a hero-edited character. I didn't feel like switching shit out. But really, the skills are helpful. Uh, maybe you'd want a BK ring. Uh, of course, you already have a lot of life leech from your Reaper's Toll. But that's fine. I mean, the mana, that mana is nice. Uh, I'm still, it's yet to be determined whether or not I want mana steel with this character. Uh, you'd probably want Gore Riders right here, as opposed to these boots. High Lords, very nice. Jalals uh, with Charm Rune, very nice. Uh, might be best in slot for this hybrid build. And I actually have Enigma, and I'll show you why in a minute. Chains of Honor uh, would be a, a great way to go, but I decided to try Enigma so I can actually teleport a little bit. Uh, yeah, you have to switch out of your wolf form. But it actually works out okay, and I'll show you how. Right. Uh, so I maxed out the summons. Ravens, uh, they do okay damage now, level 39, and they get 50 hits apiece, so you don't have to recast them like crazy. Spirit Wolf, cold damage of course, to help with some Fizz Immunes, and this might be helpful while leveling. Uh, say you wanted to start this build from the get-go, uh, this, this might be a way to do it. Dire Wolf does okay damage. I still think all the summons need a little bit of a buff, even if you do go this route, uh, this hybrid fighting slash summon droid. It's just, it, they, they still, they don't do, I don't know, maybe it's okay. I'm going to show you guys, I'm actually quite impressed with this. So here's a level 39 Grizzly for 4300 damage. And then I just put one into this, one into this. Oh. Oh my god. Okay, I have 33 skill points left. So, I'll show you... I mean, I will i won't even put anything into this shit, alright? I mean, just watch this. Watch how impressive this is. Let's see. Uh, I think the duration should be increased. Just give us just give us a, a, a vast duration. Oh, shit, I have Discord on. Let me, let me turn it off. Alright, so here's what you do. Summon your five ravens. I'm not even going to use... CTA right now. Five Ravens. Five Spirit Wolves. Three Dire Wolves. One Grizzly. And uh, I, I like to use this for now. Look at my damage. The fuck? What, the Toad? Okay. Okay, you can't see the damage. That's fine. You fucking kidding me, bruh? Okay, that's fine. The fuck? You can see it a minute ago. Ah, there we go. Okay. Holy toad. 600 to 7,000. Yep. And the attack rating is, is quite low, but uh, it does have ITT on it. Obviously, so when it comes to uh, lesser enemies and things like that, it, it's, it, it hits them almost every time. 95%. So what you do, you go into the wolf, you have Fury on your left click. I mean, shit, my summons already killed him. Yeah, look, look at look at their damage. My mercenary, my mercenary is kicking ass. Right, give it, give it, gotta give it to the mercenary. But here you go. You you, you summon out a wolf. You teleport. You can kind of uh, get your minions where you want them. I'll go right here, then I'll go back into the wolf. Yeah, no CTA here. But yeah, you you do a ton of damage. 
an early game, I don't see why this wouldn't be okay, uh, say, just using Lawbringer. You could use Lawbringer and you can use Storm Shield. Or you could just make a Spirit Shield, uh, which would be okay for a hybrid. I mean, it has a ton of FHR for one. Hell yes. See, look at this. You, you teleport when you're out of wolf, when you're not Wolfie. Then you go into Wolfie. You fall back into Wolfie. Yep, 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 yep. Swat that ass. Ooh. Oh, he's a Physimune. Look, look at this. Look at him destroy the Physimune. Hell yes. Uh, I think this is all right, dog. Hell yeah. And I kind of go back on the shit I was saying on my live stream in my last video. But wanting, like, Twister or something to pop corpses. You're going to be just like a Necro then. Uh, this is a good theme. Uh, because they have different themes. The Necro, your summons don't do a bunch of damage. But you're just wiping the screen out with a corpse explosion once you get a kill in. Which I still think the summons need to buff a little bit from Necro. All of them. Every, every single one of them need to buff. But outside of that... The theme is you're a caster, you're a mage and shit, as the necromancer. Curses and shit. Corpse explode. You, you, you hang back. Whereas this, this is, you're running with the wolves, dog. I think this work, works fine. So maybe they shouldn't screw around with Twister and all that and make it pop corpses or make it uh, hit the enemies and cause them to take more damage. Uh, just think, just just dumb shit that I was proposing. No, it's not that dumb. I mean, it it, it would have been okay, but Impossible. but I like I like this more. I Ooh, I could I could hold on to this. Yeah, make something with that shit. Maze blade. I guess I already have I already have a uh, a last wish. Yeah, but this uh, I think this works out quite well. And go back into Wolf, cast a Ravens. Yeah, Ravens doing thirty five hundred damage. Hmm. You just got to keep up on casting them. I mean, I feel like you could do the cast, maybe cast them. If you, if you do decent DPS, you only got to recast them a couple times. Look at this. Just all summons right here. Yep. <clears throat> and I'm guessing uh, this would do, do quite alright against bosses. Hell, I don't know. Maybe it'd kill Ubers. Probably not, but I, I'd be willing to try it. Look at this. Cha look at this. The champions. Holy fucking shit. Hell yeah! And just how it... Look at... Look at... Look, look at how it... Look at how it... Look at how it bumps back the undead. Your, uh, your mercenary. Yeah. Lawbringer, dog, don't... Don't talk shit about Lawbringer. Lawbringer, so GG. I love this shit. Look how cheap it is. This is how Ice Boy likes it. Nice and cheap. Oh my god. Yeah, Lawbringer is great. Don't don't touch that shit. Yeah, they better not do sh they better not touch that shit. Uh, don't nerf Decrepify. Fuck it. I love that overpowered. I love that OP GGness. But here we go. Back into Wolfie. But look at look at the mercenary knock them all back. But as mentioned, what you could do as as you're leveling, just make a Lawbringer. In a phase blade. Yeah, you gotta have a lot of decks to use it. That's fine. Get a Raven Frost, pump up your decks a little bit, it'll help your block rate anyway. You're gonna use it with shield. I mean, how you could put it in, like, a Legend Sword or something, two-handed. But I think the Phase Blade would be just fine. <clears throat> Have a shield, and you'll be kicking ass. You'll be kicking ass already. Have your minions help you out. You know, they just supplement the damage. See, watch this. Watch them do the damage. Look at them do the damage. Yeah. Yeah, Mercenary. Yeah, he's, help he's helping a little bit. Okay, Mercenary's killing fucking everything. But, but, but yeah, you, you, can, you can take note. You know, take note of that. I can't. Okay. <clears throat> All right. I gotta clear out this. I gotta clear out this guy. I, I just, I love identifying stuff. You just never know, brah. You just never know. Gotta identify this thing. Screw it. But. Yep. Yep. Look at the cast run. Chill. It's chill. You can watch videos. You can listen to music. You don't gotta worry. You got. You got all these homies at your side. This is actually almost detrimental. Uh, the knockback of this thing. I mean, because your, your minions are a bit slow. But you could really mix things up. You could get an Act 1 Merc with Vigor, so your minions run faster toward the enemies. That's unfortunate that they haven't done much with them. Uh, I mean, Vigor, Freezing Arrow, you know, it'd be, might be kind of nice. But I would experiment more. I mean, 
I think, yeah, with this, if you're already casting Decrepify, you might as well have a Pride Merc. I really don't care much for that rune word. But you might as well have a Pride Merc. Or even an Infinity. So you pierce their defense. And then uh, your minions will just simply hit them even more. And so will you, perhaps. Perhaps more importantly. But alright, so here's Diablo. Yeah, you guys, I'm sure you'd be impressed. Let me show you some players eight. I haven't even tried it yet, but I just know it's going to be good. What the toad? What the blood toad? Okay, I didn't kill this guy. So now I'll kill this guy. Yeah, and if, if you wanted to be more optimal, you would be using, for example, this CTF. I'm just not going to use it. Nope. Oh, you can't be able, look at, you can't be on Wolfie form. Oh, that would be tedious. Uh, so even lesser uh, of a reason to use it. But. All right, here's Diablo. Once you get the Decrepify on him, I'm not hitting him very much. It needs to be optimized. You know, like maybe you would want a Raven Frost. Uh, maybe you would want a bit more into decks. I mean, I have 33 skill points left over. You can get more attack rating. If you pump a few more into Werewolf, you know things like that. I just wanted to showcase it. You know, 32 points left. You're level 99. I mean, but still. So you could achieve these skills at, like, level 70. Hell yeah. Uh, the skills that I'm using as of right now. Impossible. Alright, so I'm going to turn on Players 8, and we'll see how well uh, it does Players 8. Yep. So, turning it on Players 8 now. And I already summoned my army. Yeah, and it seems like you don't really need uh, Mana Leech with this sort of gear setup. I mean, you have enough mana where you're you're probably replenishing it enough. You do get five mana per kill uh, from your Jalals, which which does go a long way. Uh, not that I... I don't know if I'm getting most of the kills here, but let's try it out now. Players, eight, there's mana burn. That can be a problem. See, but look at this. Yeah, Reaper's Toll is just such a GG item. And I don't feel like it would be... Uh, I don't think it's that big of a deal to have an ethereal one versus a plane. Just make a plane one. I mean, if you can get your little paws on an ethereal one, it's, it's probably uh, the end game item. But you're not, I don't think you're missing out on like a ton if you just get the non eth version and then you can put a shale in it or uh, whatever else you might find interesting. Um, probably shale. But check out, check your breakpoints. Or uh, maybe even an eth rune. Yeah, I, I would put an eth rune if, if your breakpoints are fine. Definitely put an eth rune in it. Does it? Okay, it doesn't pierce uh, target defense. Yeah, put the eth rune in there so it's negative 25% uh, target defense. Uh, you'll be hitting a lot more, even if your uh, attack rating kind of sucks and your supposed chance to hit kind of sucks. Once you pierce that defense, uh, I think it'll, it'll be much better. But yeah, here's players eight. There we go. I'm going to uh, gonna teleport over by Shank. It can come in handy for uh, controlling the minions. I mean, maybe that's something they should allow is for teleport uh, to be used while in wolf form. I don't know. Unless you guys think that's that's too powerful. What do you think? Because then you could uh, switch to, like, Nadges on Switch and teleport with that without first uh, transforming out of wolf form or bear form, for that matter. But I am using Fury. I guess, I mean, Fury... It's kind of like Zeal, you know? You can hit multiple targets, so I just thought if I'm going to be using one skill, that might be the one. Rabies, it's not really worth it unless if you really pump it up which you can't really do in this build because it's a hybrid build. You're maxing your summons. Uh, this would be okay. Yeah, shit. 120 damage versus, uh, oh gosh, 338. I mean, that would be okay. You do move faster. But of course, then your summons are just going to keep up with you even less so. Let's, let's see what Fury's like. Or what is this? My bad. Let's see what Feral Rage is like. You run faster, which is kind of nice. You, uh, you leech a lot more. Yeah, it's just... It sucks compared to... Fury is good. You know, one point wonders, man. That's how I like this shit. Yep, players eight. Wiping them out. Yep. What do you guys think? What do you think about this droid? I mean, I'm guessing it could... Kill Bell's minions up without much of an issue. Have a little bit of deadly strike going on here. Well, actually, kind of a lot. 
Uh, the Reaper's Toll plus the uh, High Lords. I haven't even checked the breakpoints, all right? No, I know, I should have checked the breakpoints. I didn't check the breakpoints. Probably a couple things you could do. Put a Ravenfrost on, put an IES Duel in the Helm. Like I said, a Shaled Reaper's Toll I think would be fine. And hell, you might, you might reach higher breakpoints. In this setup, I like a little bit of SCR. Uh, because he is teleporting occasionally. But I, I would probably not prioritize that at all. Because as you've seen, I I'm not teleporting much. So here's here's another uh, unique here. Bane Vex. Waste his ass. Res aren't even maxed. Uh, COH. You know, COH would be most ideal. Fuck it, I'm going to put it on. Where's that COH right there? This is probably most ideal right here. It's just like I said, it kind of sucks. You can't uh, teleport. I mean, in this in this case, I'd have a Nodges on Switch. So I still could teleport. I'm getting the best of both worlds. But you got to recharge it once in a while, which is tedious. Maybe they should have that replenish charges. Uh, just kind of like a poor man's enigma. That's that's not as tedious as using uh, Nodges in its current iteration. But okay, here's COH, and of course I have more damage to demons now. Here's a Physimune. Of course, my res are maxed out. Very nice. Wow. Oh my god, look at him. Here we go. Reset my minions right here. Us using my head and shit. It's important to use your head while playing, Di while playing Diablo. Very complex game. Hard as fuck. Hell. Yep. I beat hell. I beat hell with all characters. GG. Wow! My God! What the hell? Holy shit! Making me look like a fucking dumbass. I was trying to. Go I was trying to talk good about this guy. Okay, so he's stone skin and he's immune to physical. All right, cut me some fucking slack. Hell yeah! Hell yeah, dog! Woo! Gonna beat that ass, all right. Oh my god, he healed! Fuck that! Don't let him heal. Go kill the little ones first. Kill these ones first. Yeah, you gotta have, like I said, you gotta use your head and shit. But I think, I think that's all right right there. I think that's all right right there. Shit, I don't know, this is tempting. See, I'd be curious, what what is the spiritual journey like with this guy? And by that I mean, from starting at level one, you ain't taking handouts, you ain't getting rushed by your hombres. You're walking it. You're walking it, dog. And what's the spiritual journey gonna be? I think the spiritual journey would be great. Because that power creep, it's gonna be fun, man. It's gonna be rewarding. One wolf. Two wolf. Three wolf, four wolf, five wolf. Then all of a sudden you get to have the dire wolves. Six wolf, seven wolf, eight wolf. And you get to look forward to the grizzly. You see, there, there's a lot of things to look forward to. And you're gonna, you, it's, it, you're gonna take notice of that progression. It's gonna, it's gonna be a good time. Your ravens, which might be a pain in the ass actually. I'm uh, trying to balance out. Do you max the ravens first? Or do you, ex you probably want to max the ravens first. Uh, especially now with how you, uh, the higher they are, the less you have to cast them. But the problem is, uh, their damage is, is most likely going to suck. Initially. Let's see, and these are... So these only have one synergy of damage. Yeah, you'd probably... You'd probably just put points into Raven until you get here. After, of course, putting one into each of these. Yeah, you know what? Is this 360 across the board? Is that 360 across the board? I could test it out, dumbass. I don't get this. Duration plus 320 plus 340. Why does it still say duration 360 right here? Okay, duration 380. Give us some more. Give us a higher duration. I think they should they should give us a long fucking duration with this just from the get-go. You know, so we can we could just we can enjoy ourselves. It's it's just it's just tedious. I don't think it adds to the challenge when you just have to recast it more frequently. You know, just give us give us a little bit more leeway here. I think behind D two R, 
Let me know in the comments below. What do you guys think about that? Let this let this thing be five fucking minutes from the get-go, from level one. Both of them. I mean, shit, make them ten minutes. I don't know. PD2, they gave us a long duration just from the beginning. Because so, it's just tedious and annoying. It'll be incentive to try something new. And uh, by that, in this case, I mean start off with the one-point wonder in the in the werewolf and lycanthropy. One to each of those. And then you can start working on your summons and you don't have to worry about re constantly recasting your wolf as you're leveling up. But, man, this is... This is a nice build. Greetings. I think this build is, is quite nice. Here, let me get to Bell. I'm going to teleport to Bell. Let's see how well he can do Bell on Player Zayt. So here I am, Player Zayt. Just got to the throne room, teleported, so I'm using Enigma now. I uh, don't have that COH on. Now you dogs, stay tuned because what I'm going to do is in a future video, I'm going to show the mercenary, the Act 2 mercenary with Pride. Versus this one, alright? I mean, Pride, it gives like, a perfect one gives like 320, 330% enhanced damage to your minions. Whereas Fanaticism uh, doesn't give shit to your minions when it comes to damage. It, it gives them nice uh, attack rating and of course, the coveted attack speed which may or may not have much of an effect on these minions at level 9, especially if you're considering like a perfect uh, beast, for example, which you can't use on a mercenary anywhere. I think at 5 mercenaries should be able to wield axes. Maybe that's too much. I mean, why can't they wield axes in masons? The barbarians can't. We know the barbarians can do that. That's fine. Maybe it's too overpowered or something, I don't know. But all right, here are... Here, fuck it, I'm gonna go put on Chains of Honor. I don't think it's gonna give that much more damage. But it's it's gonna help. I'm gonna put on Chains of Honor. I mean, for one, that'll have the uh, max res. Kinda cheated here. Uh, teleported with Enigma. But yeah, let's just say I popped on an amulet, I teleported to Bell. Gotta keep them ravens up. Yep, keep the ravens up, dumbass. Don't forget about them ravens. Alright, so, see how well you can kill these waves. These ones are gonna wipe out, I'm quite sure. Demons. And of course, have a lot of uh, damage to demons here. The laying of hands gloves and the, uh, the, the, the other thing. What's the other thing? Chains of Honor. But yeah, this is, uh, I mean, I think this is kind of tempting to try this out versus the Necromancer. I mean, at this point, I don't know, I feel like I'm still going to try the Necro. I just love Corpse, I just love popping the screen. But this is, this kind of offers a different feel uh, to Diablo 2, where you actually can run with your pack and kill shit. Because uh, the Necromancer never really had that. They have the failed uh, Poison Dagger skill. Uh, even though the Necromancer is often depicted with a scythe in hand, in like Diablo Arc and things like that, it's just very, very, very impractical. He gets his ass smashed. Whereas this, this makes sense. You can still fully max out your summons. I can't carry and you can still do quite alright. Get that Oak Sage up. Get some decrepifying these guys. Players 8, dog. Get some decrepify going on right there. I mean, yeah, okay, it sucks ass. Jabba's on, Hammer didn't have this stuff out in no time, but... But still. Still, though, for a melee build... I think this is alright. Uh, especially the journey would probably be more rewarding, and... Uh, I'm gonna be playing on Players 1 anyway. No, I'm going to be playing on the ladder. Uh, in which case, it'll help close in that clear speed just a little bit. When comparing it to casters, that can just destroy players 8, for example. Alright, let's see how fast it can kill Bell. Yeah, you'd want... Oh, wow. I don't even have Crushing Blow. That's pretty pathetic. You want Goal Riders. I mean, shit, you might as well even... Even Goblin Toe. Right, I don't have Enigma anymore. It's trying to teleport. 
Yeah, Goblin Toe, something like that would be very helpful. Uh, of course, my Mercenary does have some Crushing Blow, so he might have been helping out some. But here it is against Bal. Uh, yeah, pretty pathetic, without any, but w the Crushing Blow would probably help tremendously. Okay, my Mercenary is working at him. Yep, so pretty, uh, pretty slow clear speed for Bal, as expected. Yep! Wow! God damn! Oh, shit! It's fucking bullshit! I just don't have all day for this. Well, what do you dogs think? I might be, uh, I might be streaming some Elder Scrolls. Er Elden Ring again. Might do that. The game's been calling my name. Just something about being able to control your right, your left arm, sword and shield, big-ass bar ditch, things like that. You just feel... It, it feels immersive. You feel like you're in control. You feel like you've been submerged in that world. So I might, I might think that a little bit more. We'll see. Oh my god, are you fucking kidding me? Oh, fucking told. TEN MINUTES! God. Ten minute bell. Ten minute bell kill. What do you guys think about that? That's my ass! Yeah, get back. Oh, 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 oh